So, uh, Rocky, how do you feel after retiring from the international game after 15 years? Yeah, it was a hard decision, but one I, you know, every player's got to make, but it means I can still play for WASP, which I'm really excited about. Uh, it, was, it was tough, and I'm really going to miss it. I'm going to back the girls all the way and uh, keep an eye on everything. Yeah, what do you think you'll miss the most from the international scene? Playing, playing for my country, you know, wearing the white shirt is always the, the biggest honour um, and hanging with my teammates, like, you know, you put your body on the line for them and I'm really going to miss those guys. Um, and you've had a career many players would kill for. What would be your advice to young players who want to follow in your footsteps? Yeah, just listen to all the advice you're given and try and you know, apply yourself 100% to it. Even if people say you can't do it, just keep going and, and keep pushing and uh, trying to strive for your best. Um, now this particular chapter in your life is over, what's next for you off the rugby pitch? Yeah, so I'm still keeping on the rugby theme. I'm doing my level four coaching uh, badge at the moment, so it takes a year and a half, so starting on that. Um, and then it's going to be coaching as much as possible and doing my PT as well, and hopefully a little bit of media. What do you like about coaching? Uh, I just love seeing players improve, giving back to the game, um, and people achieving the best they can, really. Um, and how much are you looking forward now to um, to putting on the scrum cap and getting out there again for Wasps this season? Yeah, I tell you what, I can't wait. We had um, training last week and it was non-contact, but somehow I'd made it contact. Uh, yeah, really excited to put the, the old scrum, pack, uh, scrum hat back on and get out there playing with my Wasps girls. Buzzing for it.